All right, let's look at the second question on magnets. Okay, so um, there are two ways to actually create temporary magnets, okay? One way is through the stroking method. You should have learned this in school. And the second way you should also have learned in school is using electricity. All right, so if we use electricity, we actually create temporary magnets that are called electromagnets. So this is a setup showing two electromagnets. All right, and the question asks, if the switches are closed, forming a closed circuit, how would the steel nail move? So this is the steel nail. We want to know how will it move and to actually explain why the steel nail will move in a particular direction. So the first step is actually to look at the materials used in this setup. Okay, we see that iron rod is used and a steel nail is used, which is a good thing because all these are magnetic materials, okay, which tells us that Yes, the iron rod can be magnetized into a magnet. And if it is magnetized, it will attract the steel nail. So next portion is actually to look at the number of coils around the iron rod. Okay, if you look closely, there are actually more coils of wire around electromagnet Y than electromagnet X. So we need to know that for electromagnets, the more the coils of wire around the iron rod, okay, the stronger the strength of the magnet. So this is actually the concept behind answering this question. So if this is a stronger magnet, very naturally the steel nail will be attracted towards electromagnet Y compared to electromagnet X. So let's try and use the ABC technique to explain our answer. The steel nail will move towards electromagnet Y. All right, and evidence which comes from the diagram is that there are more coils of wire around the iron rod and electromagnet Y, which makes it a stronger magnet, which makes it have a greater magnetic strength, and it would attract the steel nail towards it. Okay, so the second part of this question is, apart from changing the number of coils of wire around the iron rod, how can we create a stronger electromagnet? Okay, so now there are two ways to create a stronger electromagnet. One way is to increase the number of coils of wire around it. The second way is actually to increase the number of batteries attached to the circuit. Okay, because as the number of batteries in the circuit increases, there will be more electric current passing through the circuit and the electromagnet will be stronger. So a quick recap is that there are two ways to increase the strength of an electromagnet. One way, increase the number of coils around the temporary magnet. Second way is to increase the number of batteries in the circuit.